Two men lost their lives today and others recovering after the boat they were hunting in capsized in freezing waters. Ibotus News returned to the scene in Westport tonight. That's where we find Ibotus News reporter Marilyn Scherer with new information on one of the victims. We did speak with a neighbor and friend of that survivor, and he says this is duck hunting season, and he often hears the sound of pop, pop, pop of gunfire of duck hunters outside shortly after sunrise. He says it doesn't surprise him that three men in their 50s would be out duck hunting during this frigid cold weather. Coast Guard crews battled biting cold air and water temperatures to rescue Westport duck hunter Greg Angel after the skiff he and two friends were in overturned into the river early Tuesday morning. The two friends did not survive. Angel was airlifted to Rhode Island Hospital and according to officials is expected to survive. His friend and neighbor Roger McAvoy is both relieved and sad. Well, I'm grateful that, that you know Greg's going to make it and uh, you know he's a great fellow and and, you know, I, I really admire him. The Westport Harbor Master received a call after 9 a.m. about the overturned skiff. A Coast Guard helicopter located the bodies of two hunters around 10.30 a.m. near Cherry and Webb Beach. Angel was rescued shortly after 11 a.m. suffering from hypothermia. McAvoy says Angel is an experienced duck hunter. You know, he was always a very uh, safe individual who, you know, followed all the proper protocols and uh, usually went hunting hunting with uh, Robbie, who uh, has hunted for years. The victims are identified as 53-year-old Stephen James of Marshfield, Mass., and 55-year-old Robbie Betcher of Cromwell, Connecticut. No doubt a tragic ending for three friends out on a boat. I'm sure over the long term, Greg's going to feel bad about this for a long time. Uh, I think it's unfortunate that something like this would happen to anybody. Bristol County DA's office, Sam Sutter, says following a preliminary investigation that this fatal capsizing does not appear to be suspicious. He praised the work of all the rescuers and officials who he said were out during very difficult circumstances and extreme bitter temperatures. Reporting with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.